female jouster. That's something that I've never seen before. But that's awesome. Hey travelers, welcome back to the New York Renaissance Fair in Tuxedo Park, New York. In part two, I'll show you the highlights of the joust, which is my favorite part of the fair. The guy in blue is my team, so let's hope the blue team wins. In this joust, there are two different events. The first event is a game of accuracy. The female jousters are to collect all three rings in the middle of the court with their lance for a maximum of three points. The second event is the regular joust, where the male jousters are to hit their opponent's shield. I read that in modern rules it's not necessary to knock the opponents off the horse, which kind of stinks. That other guy just lost his shield. Oh, this is gonna be good.
and we do not think of more deserving knights to win the golden scepter of Sherwood. You're back. Okay, so now we're heading back to the car and that was the New York Renaissance Fair. I thought it was pretty nice. Uh, the food was maybe a little bit mediocre. Um, I heard that the turkey leg was actually kind of dry, so if you go for, you know, I don't know, garlic fries or the, or some type of a burger, anything that's more conventional, you can't really go wrong. Uh, also the meat is definitely worth checking out, and the jousting match, <laughs> that was pretty cool. I really wish it was longer, it was only maybe about 20 minutes, but that really was a lot of fun to watch. Again, if you take a bus from the Port Authority to Tuxedo, New York. I think they have buses that are going directly to the New York State Renaissance Fair. Remember, it's only August and September that they have this during the weekend. So if you're ever in New York City, make sure you check it out. Take care. <laughs> and also, one more thing that was on my mind. Me and my friends were talking about that the performers were very, very aggressive with asking for tips. They're asking for fives and tens and twenties. It, it really makes me think. I don't know if they pay them to be here or they're like waitress staff that just completely rely on tips for their wage. So uh, it's, it's, it's your call for that. I didn't really leave any tips because I really like to believe that the Renaissance Fair with our entrance tickets and the drinks that we buy and stuff Stuff like that goes towards the vendors and towards the, I mean, towards the performers. So, so yeah. Take care, everybody.